Theodore was a homeless man who had lots of faith in God but not in humans. When people he begged for alms drove him away empty-handed, he demanded God for evidence that humanity and miracles still existed. His prayers were unexpectedly answered shortly after through a blind 78-year-old woman coming his way. Brenda clutched onto her support cane while trying to cross the road safely that afternoon. She could hear many vehicles speeding past her like ferocious lions roaring in the woods. She was frightened to cross the road and hoped people noticed her dark glasses and understood she was blind. Theodore observed Brenda from the supermarket's parking lot which was his usual napping spot. At first, he thought she was just scared to cross the road. He didn't know she was blind. What is wrong with her? Can't she see the vehicles? Hey lady, watch out, he shouted, waving at her. Brenda could hear some random strangers screaming across the street. She didn't know it was Theodore alerting her to be careful. Anxious about what could happen, Theodore sprang into action and stormed onto the street. He grabbed Brenda's hand and led her to the sidewalk. Hey, hey, lady, come to the side. Didn't you see the vehicles? Thank you, kind man. I actually cannot see. I'm blind. I just got off the taxi and wanted to get to the other side of the road. Theodore was stunned because he had assumed those glasses were just fancy sunglasses. I'm sorry to hear that, he said shyly, unsure if Brenda still wanted any help. I'm Brenda, and you? I'm Theodore. Although initially hesitant, Brenda realized it was her only chance to ask for help. Nice to meet you, Theodore. Could you kindly help me get to the grocery store? Passersby usually help me cross the road, but my bad luck, I found nobody today, and thank goodness you came to help me. Theodore was happy to help Brenda and led her by the hand to the grocery. Where are you going, Theodore? Aren't you coming in? She asked as he greeted her goodbye after leaving her at the store. Can you please help me fill my cart with a few items? Brenda assumed Theodore was working in the store. Theodore could not refuse. He helped Brenda shop, but he was worried people would judge him by how he was dressed. He presumed the staff would easily make out he was homeless and kick him out. Moments later, Theodore sighed relief after helping Brenda out of the store to a taxi. He stuffed her grocery bags in the car and bid her goodbye. Around the same time the following day, Brenda came again. She arrived in a taxi that pulled over right next to Theodore's sleeping spot. He was glad to see her again and opened the door for her. Hello there, glad to see you again, he greeted. Oh my kind man, what brought you here? I'm glad too. Theodore helped her shop and made things easy for her. Over the next few days, they met quite often at the store. With each passing day, they became good friends. With Brenda thinking Theodore worked at the grocery. She had no clue he was a homeless man until their next meeting. So, do you get bonuses for working overtime here? She asked Theodore one day as he helped her get into a taxi. Working where? In the grocery, where else? Theodore laughed. Oh, I don't work at the grocery, I just use their sidewalk as my resting place, he revealed. I wanted to start my own business. I invested a huge chunk of money with people who turned out to be fraudsters. They tricked me and ran away with my money. I was drowning in debt, so I sold my house and landed on the streets, he revealed. I'm so sorry to hear this, said Brenda, disappointed. She sighed, and to Theodore's surprise, she started rushing to get home. I'm sorry, but I have to go. I'll see you, she said in a hurry. Theodore was quite taken aback by her reaction. He thought maybe she was concerned that she had befriended a man who turned out to be homeless and ran as soon as she found out. But the next day, Brenda returned with a tear-jerking surprise. Theodore was about to take his nap that afternoon after an exhausting day wandering around for alms. Just as he was about to close his eyes, he saw Brenda on the sidewalk. He was surprised. He rose to help her because the traffic light on that road was not functioning. Vehicles kept rushing past Brenda without stopping, and there was no way she could cross the street by herself. Hey, wait up, I'm coming, Theodore called out. And then he saw Brenda smile. I knew you would come, she said, startling him. I didn't want to cross the road, but I was testing you to find out if you would still help me even after I walked out on you yesterday. Theodore was puzzled and could not decipher what Brenda was up to. That's when she broke his silence with a stunning surprise. Come home with me, I want to show you something, she said. The two walked to Brenda's house, which was nearby. Is there a black car there in the garage? She asked. Yes, I see one. Then what are you waiting for? Take the keys, said Brenda. This car was a gift from my son on my birthday last year. I rarely used it, so it's now yours. What? exclaimed Theodore, tears rising in his eyes, waiting to hear why Brenda was giving away such an expensive car. I could not drive after my eyesight failed me, and this car has been in the garage ever since I lost my ability to see, and my son is abroad with his wife and kids. I miss them terribly, but that hollow in my heart slowly vanished after meeting you. A kind man like you, despite being wronged by others, deserves appreciation. 
I gift you this car for your compassion and selflessness. Theodore's tears kept him from speaking for a while until he finally said, Nobody would even want me near their car, let alone offer me a ride. But you're different. Your warm words moved me, and you proved miracles in humanity still exist, he cried. Theodore took the car keys from Brenda happily. Soon, he started his own taxi service and gradually climbed his way to making his own fortune. He was no longer homeless after renting a small apartment with his earnings. Following the miraculous turning point in his life, Theodore often visited Brenda to make sure she was doing fine. They remained friends for a long time, and Brenda did not feel lonely again.